Welcome to Keppel University. My name is Alan Babinick and I'm your instructor. Always V-step in, but never away. What it means is don't expose your center line and move the target. So if I was in a neutral facing you, let me move back a little bit. If I was in a neutral facing you and I can it in and then I V stepped out to the side, what did I just do? I just exposed my center line and before that, if I'm in my neutral, as I cat, did my head move off the line? It got a little bit further back, but it didn't get off the line of attack. The punch, if you were hitting me, it was still gonna hit me straight in the face every single time. So what it means is by you never V step away is because you don't move the target which is usually the head, all right? And you expose your center line as soon as you step out. I'm gonna use, because I like it, Detour from Doom. Now for us, that's up in, on the green sheets, up in advanced blue or green, wherever it might be in your system. So with this one, we're going to move up the circle into the cat stance. Now, I'm gonna do it on a little bit of an angle. I'm facing this way instead of facing you. This is against a low roundhouse kick to the groin, ribs, something like that. So I'm in my neutral and I'm facing this guy. As he tries to kick me, I'm gonna move up the circle and throw my punch. Now, if you see, I moved my head, if he's, uh, kick was coming at me. I'm moving what he's going to kick. I'm moving off the line. I'm in a cat. I'm already uh, cocked and ready to go, so I'm following that rule, right? <clears throat> so from here, as he throws the kick, I move off the line, I block, and I throw my punch. And then if you know the technique, we're going to go through the rest of the technique as I'm hitting you. So, but when I cat it up, I did not expose my center line. If anything, I closed it off. So when you V-step in, you're doing three things. You're covering your center line or your groin, okay? You're choosing a line of entry and you're ready to kick. So if I was standing here and somebody was coming at me, as I cat, see how my head moved sideways off the line? So I'm moving my head out of the way. As my foot comes in, I'm covering my center line against him trying to kick me. I can now kick him and I'm choosing my line of entry. I can either step in front of his leg if his leg was right here or I can step behind his leg. So if we're doing circling the horizon, we go behind the leg. If we were doing gathering clouds, we go in front of the leg. So there's examples of it throughout the system as you do it. Uh, so when you cat, you cock, you always V, and we're following, we have to do that because we're doing a cat stance, right? And then you always V step in, but never away. Because if you V step away, you're not moving your target, or his target, <laughs> and you're gonna expose your center line to attack. When you V step in, as you go to the cat, you're covering your center line, your groin, you're putting yourself in a position, when I cat, I, I cock, and so my leg's ready to, to do a kick, and I'm choosing my line of entry. I can go in front of his leg, I can step behind his leg, I could keep stepping off that way. I could step forward, I could go wherever I want. I can choose my line of entry. So that's why you V-step in, but never away. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.